Newly released police dash cam video catches yesterday's deadly police chase and crash. Suspect Jerry Newman is seen driving through a fence out at Tulsa International Airport just minutes before crashing head on into another vehicle, killing a father of three. News on 6's Justin Schreer is on the story tonight from the Tulsa County Jail. Justin. Scott and Terry, this newly released affidavit lists numerous charges against Newman, including the most serious one, first degree murder. It also states that during the police chase, Newman crashed through numerous gates at Tulsa International Airport. Police dash cam video shows the brazen attempt that suspect Jerry Newman made during a police pursuit Wednesday morning that took them onto the grounds at Tulsa International. Going through the fence. Oh boy. What's the fence, guys? In the affidavit, police say Newman crashed through numerous gates at Tulsa International during the pursuit. An air traffic controller at the airport reacted to the chase. We've got a uh, high-speed pursuit going on on the airport. Somebody broke onto the field, so I'm taking care of that for a second. Police say he drove across active runways and taxiways with aircraft present. Headquarters advised Tulsa Airport he's gone through on two active runways, advised ATC. You can see the ONG truck heading across the tarmac and onto the grass recklessly. Police say Newman led them across airport grounds for about a half an hour. While inside the airport, an OHP trooper performed a tactical maneuver not seen here to try to end the chase, but he was unsuccessful. Police say Newman then crashed through a fence exiting airport grounds. Now the pursuit continued until Newman went the wrong way in the northbound lanes of Highway 75. That's when law enforcement ended the pursuit and a short time later the truck hit a car head on, killing William Bruckman. Live on the scene on the story in Tulsa, Justin Schreyer, News on 6.